Hello friends, I am Dr. Sutar Renji from Sanjini College of Pharmaceutical Education Research, Department of Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry. Friends, today we see detection of total alkaloid content. As you know that, what do you mean by alkaloids? Alkaloids, these are the nitrogenous substances are there, which are uh, alkaline uh, uh, nitrogen atoms are there that are to be present in a heterocyclic ring, okay? Likewise, the different type of the uh, definitions are there for alkaloids which are pharmacologically active one with a very small concentration in a microgram fraction that plays an important role, <coughs> okay? So how much quantity of that one alkaloids are there that are to be present in that one particular uh, part of the plant that we have to be determined by this one examine. So for this one purpose, we required one volumetric flask, then conical flask, rotary evaporator, and burette. Okay, these are the requirements are uh, there for this one. Excellent. So, <coughs> sorry, uh, from this one, uh, we have to take a beaker. To that one beaker, we have to take uh, belladonna leaf powder. Firstly, you have to purchase belladonna leaf or dry powder. If you have purchased uh, leaves, then dry it and powder it to a particle size 60. 60 mesh uh, that is to be utilized for this one experiment. Now then transfer 0.2 gram of the powder, belladonna powder into that one beaker, okay? <clears throat> Just like this one. Then take uh, water, uh, transfer 25 ml of the water to the beaker where you have added sample. Then, okay, then dilute ammonia solution. You have to transfer 10 ml of dilute ammonia solution. Mix it properly by utilizing stirrer so that you have a uniformity. Stir it properly, okay? Okay, then take a separating funnel. In that separating funnel, you have to transfer that one particular mixture, okay? And add 20 ml of the fresh chloroform in that separating panel, okay? <coughs> Sorry. Then shake this one. Uh, you had a 20 ml chloroform. Then shake this one separating panel, likewise, okay? After shaking, keep it aside for a few minutes. Here, the separation of the two layers. Upper one layer is there is aqueous layer and lower one layer is a chloroform layer because chloroform is heavier than water, okay? <coughs> So that what are the alkaloids are there that are to be comes in the chloroform from the water. Okay. So next transfer this one, separate the chloroform layer into a beaker. Just like three times you have to add a uh, fresh chloroform into the same aqueous layer, which is to be present in a, <coughs> sorry, in a separating panel. Again, shake it and separate chloroform layer okay just like this one in there you have to transfer this one then uh, here you are getting the chloroform layer combine all the chloroform layers okay and transfer this one layer into the one beaker where all the chloroform layers are there that are collected, which containing your alkaloids. Okay, <clears throat> take a uh, chloroform. Uh, then, uh, what are the chloroforms are there? Layers are there. Uh, to that one chloroform layer, you have to add 10 ml of the water, shake it properly, and because of which the water soluble impurity, which is to be present in the chloroform layer, that case is separated. Collect chloroform layer separately. Take care that water content should not be found in the chloroform layer. Okay. Then transfer this one uh, chloroform layer into a evaporating uh, dish, pear dish whose weight you have already noted. Okay. Then evaporate this one, you are getting the residue, or we can say that evaporate. To that one residue, you are going to add 2 ml of the alcohol. Again, evaporate that one because of which but the alcohol soluble impurities are there that get dissolved. And as alcohol is there is evaporated, along with that alcohol soluble impurity is also get evaporated. 
then to this one uh, residue you are going to add 20 ml of the water so as to dissolve a residue okay once you have added 20 ml of the water to that one you are going to add 20 ml 0.1 normal hcl okay then in a big burette you have to take 0.1 normal NOH solution and in a conical flask you have to take your dissolve exact plus you are going to add 20 ml 0.1 normal SCL and methyl orange as an indicator and tighten it by utilizing sodium hydroxide solution 0.1 normal sodium hydroxide solution where the end point is orange color changes to the colorless <coughs> sorry and in this way what is the reading in there is to be obtained that each ml of 0.1 normal scl is equivalent to 0.0384 gram of atropine <clears throat> in this way you are going to calculate how much quantity of the atropine is present in your sample okay so friends if you are new to this one channel you will likes to this one video and subscribe my channel okay thank you